after three long months. And patiently waiting, it's finally time to return to Blu-ray hunting. Time to go do some Blu-ray hunting. So hello and welcome back to another video guys. Now this is a bit of a spur of the moment. One wasn't going to do this. This was Luke's idea. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm making content for you all. Yeah, cheers. We're just walking over to Tesco's and he was like, why don't you do some filming? I thought, why don't I do some filming? So we, this is the first Blu-ray hunting trip Hell. since... Is this, is this a 2021? First, first of 2021? It must be. Did we? I can't remember if I'd done one in I feel like the last one we actually done was when we went to... Oh no, I don't know actually. I think it might be. It might be. It's oh. the first one since things have opened back up. Yes, yes. So, it's only Tesco's. We are going to be doing a proper one next week. Yeah. With... Ro no, you're not going to be there. I I may be there for a little bit. Yeah. But I've got, I've got other plans. Yeah. So. But, but no, you will be there, Ryan. And Mr. Alex Pitt. Yes. And his fiance Tara. So, it's going to be a big one next week. I'm really excited to finally meet up with Alex, it's going to be a really good time. Um, and yeah, Ryan will be there as well. Yeah. So, but yeah, for today, we're just we're just going to go on Tesco's. I, I I might get something for the video now. Yeah, you have to now. I, I, I know Ryan's watching and Ryan, Ryan, Ryan's normally the one that forces him to buy things. Yeah. So Ryan, I'll, in your place today, I'll make sure he buys something. <laughs> Don't worry. Cheers, Luke. <laughs> Spending my money. Not that I've got that 150 pound Godzilla set turning up today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're just we're just gonna make this would probably just be a short little video, but I thought it'd be fun just to do one to get back yeah. to Blu-ray hunting. Why not? Because I know that you guys really like it. So yeah, anyway, um I guess we'll see you in Tesco's. A few moments later. So we've now actually got a little delay on going to Tesco's because Luke decided to forget his goddamn mask. Can you see him running home? What a pleb. Anyway, we'll be at Tesco's in a minute. So, as you can see, Tesco's not providing the best selection. I thought this was silly, that the original Doom film, £15, you can get it in 2 for 18 though. They still have Soul Wind, still without the collectible slip. Hopefully it won't be long till that comes in, and there is Wonder Woman, 1984. New Batman film, Death to the Family, I think it's called. Um, Bill and Ted there at the end, and then pretty standard stock. This is one I was um, interested in picking up. Perfect Life, David Attenborough, BBC Earth documentary, of course. There's the first season of Picard, Mulan on 4K, which still hasn't gone down in price annoyingly. Harry Potter set, only £40. Really good deal if you haven't picked them up yet. The collectible Fantastic Beast slips there, which I think all the Harry Potter films have got. And then it's just more or less DVDs from here on. Wonder Woman DVD. I didn't think the colour was popping near as well as it did on the Blu-ray artwork there for Wonder Woman. Westworld Season 3 down the bottom. Um, there is the game, uh, Star Wars, sorry, the complete saga on DVD. Only £40 if you're a DVD collector of Dino Star Wars. That is a bargain. Mulan with the collectible DVD slip. For those of you slip collectors. And there's Ralph Breaks the Internet as well. 
and there's some more of the Disney collectible slips which look beautiful. Then here are some really interesting Warner Brothers slips which have come out like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and the two Scooby-Doo films up here of course I have to pick up Monsters Unleashed. What a cracking movie. Love this film. It takes me right back to my childhood. So yeah some really interesting collectible slips there. Get both Scooby-Doo's and um, yeah there's quite a few others. There's some DC films there in the mix as well. And there's Smallfoot down the bottom as well, which I got confused with Abominable. Abominable, sorry. And I found this interesting as well. Isn't it romantic? Um, an interesting romance romance film on, that came out on Netflix. I uh, didn't even realise it had been physically released. Um, 2001, you see off the side, Doctor Sleep there as well. Well, we had a pretty unsuccessful Blu-ray hunt today. Yeah, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm out with a child. Yeah. Man's happy. Yeah. <laughs> Man only wants the simple things in life. <laughs> so, how much did we buy, Luke? Yeah, well, it was a very successful journey, if you ask yeah. me. We got some lunch. Yeah, we got we got lunch. Lunch. Yeah. How many Blu-rays did we get? <laughs> well, Tesco and their fine selection. Yep. You managed to get a grand total. Zero. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've done really well. But it's like I said, there were a couple things in there I would have picked up if they were cheaper. Yeah. I, I, even though I didn't like Mulan much, I want to watch the 4K transfer. So if that was like 15 quid. What was it in there? 20 to 25? Oh, shut up. <laughs> um, and there was like the original Dune, but I'm not paying 15 pounds yeah, for that. Yeah, it, it was slightly... That's ridiculous. Yeah, slightly too much, I think. So, yeah. Anyway, this has been a very short vlog. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. This no is this is technically your video. You yeah. this wouldn't have been made if it were for you. You were like, you got to make it, James. <laughs> I'll just, just give the viewers what they want. <laughs> Alright. Um, <laughs> so yeah. anyway, apologies for the lack of Blu-rays afterwards and the, the link for this video. But thank you for watching as always. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message, and try and convince Luke in the comments to start his YouTube channel. <laughs> See you later. Peace.